Hi, my name is Casey Amshauser from the Digital Initiatives Group at the University of Washington, and I'm here today to talk to you about interoperability between OpenMRS and OpenLS. So on both the OpenMRS and OpenLS sides, we are using LOINC codes to uniquely identify each of the tests that we're ordering. In this case, we're using a CD4% count, which is LOINC uh, 20606-0 on both the OpenLS and OpenMRS side. Next, we are going to place a lab order for a test patient in OpenMRS. So we have uh, opened up our patient record. We're going to select that CD4 count uh, as we showed before. And here you can see the concept for that. We're going to order the CD4% test. And next, we are going to see what OpenMRS sends to OpenLS. So it sends a, a bundle of fire objects. And you can see here, one of our uh, main fire objects, the task request, has now gone to requested status and is ready for OpenLS to pick up. So in OpenLS itself, we're going to go to electronic orders where we see incoming orders. We're just going to search for everything. Here we can see our uh, test patient and lab. We're going to go ahead and save that into the OpenLS system. Next, we are going to search for that lab requisition and we are going to enter in our test result. So in this case, you can see we have our CD4 percentage test and here's our result. If we go over to OpenMRS, we can see that the normal high is 60, the normal low is 20, so we're just going to pick something right in the center and choose 40%. It's not required, but if this were outside of a biologically valid result, we could do an accept as is. We're going to now save that. It has saved the lab result, but in the lab workflow before results are released, a biologist has to go in and validate those. So we're going to go ahead, bring up this lab requisition again for our test patient. And here's our 40%. And we're going to say, okay, we have validated that. We want to save and release that result. So now that that's been saved, we'll see what happened to our task request in fire. Now you can see the status has been updated to completed status and it is ready for OpenMRS to pick back up. And now we've got our test patient here. You can see that we have our result of 40 that is now back in our patient record. So that is the round trip uh, result between ordering a test and getting those results back in OpenMRS. For more details, please check out our websites. You've got the OpenLS website and OpenMRS site, as well as Health Information Exchange, where the Digital Initiatives Group at iTech, part of the University of Washington, has published all of the guides for this type of work.